Siam Burma Death Railway is a 2014 Singaporean documentary film written and directed by Karan Jeevan about the Asian forced laborers who worked on the Siam Burma Death Railway during World War II. This documentary film opens with World War II war between the Allied forces, comprising America, Australia, Netherlands, under the leadership of Great Britain, fought against the Axis countries of Germany, Japan and Italy. One superpower, Japan, had been waiting for a long time expecting an opportunity to realize its plan of creating a greater Asia. Japan's plan was to extend its empire to include Singapore, Malaya, Thailand, and Burma up to India. On December 8, 1941, Singapore fell at the hands of Japan, which had begun the war in the name of Asian independence. Immediately, Japan decided to carry out its plans of creating a greater Asia, basically an area under Japanese control. As a first step, Japan planned to lay the Siam. Burma Railway Line Connecting Siam, i.e., Thailand, and Myanmar. The Siam-Burma Railway did not traverse benign terrain. It snaked through dark, deep valleys, climbed high mountain ranges and lengthy mountain passes, crossed great rivers and inhospitable rainforests. On June 22, 1942, the work of laying the railways began from Kanchanapuri, about 80 kilometers away from Thailand's capital Bangkok and Thanbi Uzay and about 55 miles away from Mulmain a major city of South Burma. About 60,000 prisoners of war of Allied forces guided by 12,000 Japanese engineers began the work of laying the railway line for about 415 kilometers. After a few weeks, the Japanese army realized it needed millions of people to complete the project. The Japanese army was prepared to use dangerous methods to make the dream come true. Thousands of Indian Tamil and Burmese laborers working in the Malaya rubber estates caught their attention and they were brought to Thambi Uzayat with a promise of higher wages and comfortable stay. The laborers built wooden bridges in many places across River Kwai in order to lay the railway. The bridges were washed by the floods in the river. The laborers were forced to reconstruct the bridges. The laborers were fed with rice thrice a day, along with dried fish or mural from the river. The conditions endured by the POWs of the Allied forces were worse. Dressed in loincloths they looked like skeletons. They looked pitiable as they were affected by skin diseases. Unable to withstand the sufferings many of them died. The Japanese army buried them near the railway line and planted a cross bearing their names. It is a fact that no words can describe the manner in which the Japanese army treated the dead and the dying. On October 16, 1943 both the lines met at a place called Three Pagoda on the Siam Burma frontier. The railway line measured about 300 kilometers in Siam and 115 kilometers in Burma. The Japanese army celebrated the valediction like a festival. They indulged in entertaining themselves with feasts and merrymaking. August 6, 1945 is the last scene of this full-length tragic movie about this episode in the Second World War. The Japanese industrial city of Hiroshima was bombarded by the USA on that day. The deeds of Japan were brought to an end with that incident. The POWs of the Allied forces were released from all over the world. Once again the British flag flew high in the Singapore sky. The Japanese army stood silent in answer to the allegations of the Court of War Crime Investigations. After listening to thousands of witnesses many of the officers and soldiers were branded as war criminals and were hanged to death. The number of Asian laborers, Malaysian Tamils, Burmese, and Javanese, who lost their lives building the death railway is estimated to be more than 100,000. According to the statistical data, the number of Tamil laborers who died during the construction should be about 60,000 in Burmese 30,000 in number. But researchers of World War II are of the opinion that the exact number of Asian laborers who died at the death railway is known only to the Japanese government. This documentary movie was released and screened in Paris on July 5, 2014. Subsequently released in London on July 13, 2014. Malaysia release will be on October 12, 2014. The team filmed this documentary for New Generation Become. Devoted nearly 10 years to unraveling the hidden facts about the death railway. The film focuses on the survivors, those who worked the railway and lived to bear witness to the historical reality of this enduring atrocity. A principal source of this documentary's strength are the views of researchers Dr. David Bogat, Emeritus Professor, Kyoto University, Japan, Mr. Rodbini, Director, Thai Burma Railway Museum, Thailand, and Professor Amanamalai, India. Nominations for Best Documentary 2015 Cinerakam IMTL Film Festival, USA.
Silver Award for Best Documentary at IFCOM Festival, Indonesia. Silver Award for Best Documentary at Filmmakers of the Year Film Festival, Indonesia. Official Selection for Best Documentary at Cinemavenire Film Festival, Italy. Official Selection, Mumbai International Film Festival, India. Official Selection, 6th Damar Popular Film Festival, Tehran, Iran. Pondicherry Release in Tamil Language. Dinamalar News in Tamil Language. The Asahi Shimbun, Japanese News Daily English Language. Citizen Journalists Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur English Language. Tamil Murasa Daily, Singapore Tamil Language.